many of you guys know, I recently posted, uh, I think two days ago, and that video absolutely went crazy, which makes me so happy, you guys. I haven't been on YouTube in like a couple of years. It's been, been very skippy. I think when I posted the most was probably over three years ago. But now I am back and gonna be better than ever. These videos are gonna be the best videos you guys have ever seen me produce. I'm gonna put so much time and effort into these videos. When I first started, I was probably pumping out a video a day. I was going crazy. But I was focusing on quantity, not quality. And as y'all know, I am coming back to YouTube. And my videos are gonna be better than ever. And if you clicked on this video, you guys already know what's going down. Today, I'm gonna be showing my setup tour, my gaming setup. I should probably put it out there. That was, that was pretty crazy. I should put it out there that I bought 99% of everything that you're gonna see. So I don't want you guys to go comment, oh, he's spoiled, oh, he's rich, because I ain't. Anyways, the only thing that I didn't buy, I will mention, and I will tell you that I didn't buy it. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So you guys did see a little clip of my setup. It's nothing too crazy. I'm in my living room right now, chilling on my gaming chair, which I will be showing, of course, because it's part of the setup. And I thought I'd switch it up a little bit. The windows are there and there, so it should be, it should be some pretty damn good light if you're picking up what I'm putting down. But anyways, we will get to my PC last. It's nothing super crazy. Starting off the desk, uh, it's just pretty much, I, I think I got it off Amazon. I got most of this stuff on Amazon. Um, the desk, I just needed one that was big enough for two monitors. And this one, I did some measurements. I was, it was much bigger than what I had before. It was sturdy. And it has a built-in mouse pad, little mat cover that goes on the top of it that you can take off and put back on. You can wash it. So that was, that was, that was it for me right there. The headset that I went with, I played, I played PC and I play Xbox. I play the Series X, so it had to be compatible with both. Now the headset that I went with was the Seal Series Arctic 7X Plus Wireless. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Dude, he's a I've had this headset. I had the regular Steel Series Arctis 3, I think, the white version, and I liked the quality. It was comfortable and it lasted. I was just looking for an upgrade, so I went with this headset, and it has been lasting me a very long time. It's tough, it's durable, unless you throw it on the ground. It's honestly, overall, a really good headset. Moving on to the mouse, I have the Razer Death Adder V2 Special Edition. I honestly don't know what's so special about it, but it's just in the name, so I thought I'd throw it in there. For the keyboard, I have the Razer Black Widow Elite. Being a big, big Fortnite player back in the day, I used to use a a 10 keyless, not a 6%. I used to use a 10 keyless. It was a Red Dragon, and it was honestly pretty good for 30 bucks. I loved that keyboard. It was my first ever mechanical keyboard, and I played with it all the time. What do you mean by that? Pause. I had no problems with that keyboard whatsoever. However, I got into other games, and I kind of didn't want to just use a 10 keyless anymore. I wanted a full-size keyboard. And when I was shopping on Amazon one day, I came across this, and it was perfect. It had the nice leather wrist rest, the nice RGB. It had the play, pause, skip buttons, the volume buttons. It had it all, and it was on sale. Nothing like a good sale. For my microphone, I really only use it on the PC because I don't feel like plugging it in every single time to the Xbox PC, Xbox PC. But for my microphone, I use the Razer Siren X, and I honestly love it. You guys will probably notice a pattern of Razer here, but I had one Razer thing after another, and I just want to, I wanted to keep it going. I didn't really want a mix of other stuff. The only exception is the Steel Series headset, of course. Now moving on to the most expensive piece of the puzzle, besides the PC, the chair. Now, this is the piece that I didn't purchase myself. I got this gifted to me for Christmas. I never in my life would have bought a chair this expensive. I got the Razer Isker with the dark gray fabric, and it is a masterpiece. It is such a beautiful chair. Compared to my other chair, it was like a throne. Fit for a king like myself. Starting off with a motherboard, I have an X570UD. I built this PC probably about two, three years ago, so I'm not gonna remember everything about it. I'm not quite a nerd as much as I used to be. I have a 500 watt power supply unit. For my graphics card, I kinda cheaped it out on this. It was around 200 bucks at the time, 
I got the GeForce GTX 1660. Now for anybody that doesn't know anything about PCs, it sounds super fancy and super powerful, but it ain't. I'm not gonna lie, it gets the job done and I'm happy with it for now. I don't do any serious gaming, I just do some, some casual gaming on the PC. Let's go baby! Watch a little bit of YouTube. Other than that, I don't do really, I don't do any hardcore gaming. For my CPU, which is the central processing unit for anybody that doesn't know what that stands for, I went with Ryzen 7 3700X. It has two eight gigabytes of RAM. I believe I have a 200 gigabyte SSD. I have a one terabyte internal hard drive and I have a one terabyte external hard drive. So I got plenty of storage. And yes, I did build this PC myself. It was my first ever PC build and I absolutely loved it. I was working my first job making $7.25 an hour. That took a long time and a lot of saving. For my main gaming system, I used the Xbox Series X. I wasn't gonna buy this console. I was going to Walmart, going to buy the Series S, and it just so happened that on the day I was going to buy the Series S, there was like four Series Xs. So you know your boy had to ball out. I came home with the Series X and I haven't regretted my decision yet. As you guys can see, my cable management is not the best. However, it's most definitely not the worst. It's mainly bad for one reason, and that's because I switched my keyboard and mouse over a lot from my PC to my Xbox, as well as my ethernet cable. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did stick around this long to the end of the video, I just wanna say I appreciate you guys so much and I appreciate the support that I got on my other video. Gang, gang. Anyways, I appreciate y'all so much. I love you guys. Peace.